Hey guys, how you all doing today? Now for today's video, I want to discuss the dark truth of how Camp Cretaceous will be connected to Jurassic World Dominion, and specifically, why I believe that the kids' fate of not making it home will be the connection that we were looking for. So yes, the kids not making it back home ever. And while I briefly mentioned this theory in the Top 10 Camp Cretaceous Season 4 video, today we are going to go all the way through this theory that I have. So while we last see the kids successfully escape Jurassic World and leave the island behind at the end of Season 3, there are two variables that actually prevent the kids from able to actually go home, and why I think that their fate will actually connect to Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> Now the first and most important variable that has to do with um, the kids not being able to make it home is the hard drive and information they have regarding Dr. Wu's laptop that holds his hybrid research. And while we see them destroy the laptop itself, we know they still have the um, plans on it as well as information on the Scorpius Rex. And we know that their plan was as soon as they were to escape the island, they would hand it to the authorities. And then not only that, but they also knew that Wu was working with Eli Mills as they actually mentioned the name while they were trying to escape. And since they know that Mills wants to make another hybrid, which we know to be the Indoraptor, the fact is that even if, say, due to an attack on the boat that causes them to lose the hard drive information, they still know of Eli Mills. And what would happen is that they would make it home, they would share the information that they still have and the, to the authorities, and both Wu and Mills would eventually be arrested, and the Indoraptor project would never be made. It wouldn't have even started. And then the events of both Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion wouldn't be able to happen, since if Mills doesn't um, escape freely, then he doesn't um, ask Claire for help, and then the dinosaurs never make it to the mainland, which means the whole story is destro destroyed in one big plot hole. But that's not the only bit of information. There is one little bit of information that could lead the kids to being trapped on an island. No, the one other variable that um, is spelling doom for the kids is none other than the Mosasaurus itself, seeing that at the end of Season 3, the events of Fallen Kingdom's opening, where we witness the Mosasaurus escape, have taken place. And this means the Mosasaurus is now in the open ocean. And for those who didn't know, actually, Colin Trevorrow, a while back, has gone on the record and stated that during the two-year gap between the beginning of Fallen Kingdom and its ending, where the Mosasaurus was seen attacking surfers in Hawaii, during that gap time, the Mosasaurus was confirmed to not have been seen by the public. So, if the kids while heading to the mainland are, are to be attacked by the Mosasaurus itself and survive, then the kids wouldn't be able to go home, seeing that they have the information that the Mosasaurus is free. And that would contradict what Colin Trevorrow has stated about the Mosasaurus, as it had not been seen. Now, while I'm mentioning that the kids' chances of getting home are very, very low, I don't think the kids will actually be killed, as perhaps when attacked by the Mosasaurus, for example, they decide to head to, to the nearest land they see, and their boat is damaged, and perhaps they see land that they believe to be is East Nublar or even Costa Rica. But it'll turn out that they are now on Isla Sorna, and with no way to get home, they will just have to survive on Site B, and the fact is, this could be the way that Camp Cretaceous connects with Jurassic World Dominion, because there ha has been a lot of information shared that suggests the return of Isla Sorna for the film, with images of Chris Pratt and another character in an uh, Isla Sorna-like environment, and also images showing Site B equipment, and it could be possible that characters like Owen Grady could be head to Site B for some reason in the film, and possibly discover the kids, or if, if they decide to go for a darker turn, what's left of them. But that whole topic for Dominion and their kids' fate is for another video. But anyway, guys, what do you think about this theory? Do you think that the kids' fate is sealed 
Or do you think something else will happen to them besides being trapped on Sorna forever? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them all in the comments down below. But if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until the next video, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!